here question is calculate the h11 for the circuit shown below here the definition for the hybrid parameter h11 is nothing but v1 by i1 and v2 equals to 0 that means input impedance we have to calculate but see input side it is short circuited means v1 is nothing but a 0 hence h11 is 0 hence option a is correct here the question is a network having four branches and two nodes calculate the number of fundamental cut sets possible we know that in this is a question from the graph theory uh, graph theory where number of fundamental cut sets equals to the number of nodes minus 1 here the number of nodes are n here n n is nothing but a 2 here so 2 minus 1 is 1 hence option c is correct question is calculate the thevenin's resistance seen by the terminals a and b that means we have to calculate the impedance of the network when we are looking from the input side that is if we consider this one is i1 then the input impedance is nothing but or thevenin's impedance is nothing but v1 by i1 so if we apply the kcl at node c that is minus i1 plus 2v1 plus v1 divided by 2 ohms equals to 0 this is the parallel combination of this is nothing but a 1 ohm so i1 equals to 2 plus 1 by 2 this is v1 here v1 by i1 is nothing but Five by two V one that is two by five point four ohms. Hence option D is correct. Question is the output voltage V naught of the circuit shown below is okay. See here first of all in order to decide V naught we need to decide the conducting state or the state of the diode whether it is conducting or non-conducting here the di the conduction of the diode is decided by the the node potential va that is if we assume the diode is ideal 10 minus va should be greater than 0 then only the diode is going to conduct so for that one what we have to do is first of all we have to find out the va without diode so remove the diode then it is going to be open circuited here so because of 10 volts nothing will be resulting at node VA but because of 24 volts present here there is a voltage VA is developing here so VA is nothing but 24 divided by 14 to 20 which is nothing but at 12 volts so 10 minus 12 is not greater than 0 it means the voltage across the diode is a negative hence it is not going to conduct it is in off state if it as long as it is in off state the potential at node VA is because of 24 volts that is half that is 12 volts that is option B is correct question is identify the feedback of the circuit shown below okay so this is the capacitance if we indicate with C suppose if it is not there then the voltage which is developing across the resistor reverse biases the input diode okay hence in order to get the same current same current we have to increase the v1 because the diode is getting reverse bias because of the potential developing across the resistor but because of the cap capacitor which is shunting across the resistor in case of an ac point of view the capacitor is going to access a short circuit which is going to be short the resistor hence there is no feedback because it is unable to 
develop the voltage across the emitter resistor because it is shorting with the capacitor hence the voltage across the emitter resistor is going to be zero okay ve is equals to zero that is if i am indicating this node potential is ve in ac because capacitor that is xc is zero that is AC point of view it is zero means C is almost assuming that it is very large okay hence option D is correct here the question is number of mission cycles required for LHLD instruction see before getting into the question we need to know what do you mean by the mission cycle here mission cycle means either reading or the writing the data in to or from the memory that is nothing but a mission cycle here LHLD address in case of that is this is the instruction in 8085 microprocessor address is nothing but a 16 bit data means the number of mission cycles are first of all upcode fetch means LHLD that is upcode fetch first mission cycle is upcode fetch second two mission cycles are reading the data from the memory because we are writing this instruction in the memory itself so it is memory read and the memory read and next we are loading the data from the memory that is here this 16 the contents of the 16 bit data we are loading into the H register and 16 bit address plus 1 into the L register means there are two more memory reads hence there are five machine cycles are required in order to execute the LHLD instruction hence option A is correct is characteristic equation of an SR flip-flop okay SR flip-flop See here characteristic equation is nothing but an equation for the next state in terms of the present state as well as the input conditions, present input conditions. So for an SR flip flop, S R Q N Q N plus one. If it is zero 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 one zero one one zero one zero one 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 one. See whenever S and R both are zero the output possible conditions for the output are 0 1 here also 0 1 here also 0 1 here also 0 1. if both are zeros it is 0 if both are zeros it is also 0 1 uh, means previous state remained as it is if reset means it is both are zeros whatever may be the previous state if the set input is 1 irrespective of the previous state the output becomes 1 okay if both S and R equals to 1, this nothing but a don't care condition. So, if we solve the K map in terms of the previous state as well as the present input combinations, zero, 1, zero, 0, 1, 1 don't care conditions this we can combine and this we can combine so qn plus 1 is nothing but r bar qn plus s 